Hi, I'm Michelle Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a product called AquaSand. This is a product that I've been looking at for a while now in the stores trying to decide whether I should get it and what purpose it would serve in my early learning environment. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with AquaSand, AquaSand is a product that when you put it in water um, it gets wet and you can do stuff with it but when you take it out of the water it's dry like sand again. There's no explanation on the package for why that is, so I'm not really sure, but I do want to do some research on that. And I think um, because of the price of the Aqua Sand uh, for a double pack that I picked up at Walmart, it's about nine, nine to $10, and there's two, two colors in it, yellow and blue, and there's also another pack with red and, or I'm sorry, pink and green. I haven't seen the other colors, but there may be other colors of that as well. A single pack was a dollar. I mean, five dollars. And in the kit, you get the two bottles, like so. And you also get a nozzle for creating sculptures under the water, and then a fork that you can um, do some stuff with the sand in the water, and then the scoop that you can scoop up sand with and pour it back into the water or back into your bottle, which is how you're supposed to do it when you're done playing with it. You're supposed to scoop it back up and pour it back into the bottle. And I'll show you how that works um, when we're done with that. But it's kind of a cool concept. This is best used probably in a science or exploration area. And because of the price, you definitely wouldn't want to put it um, in a large sand or water table. But it's cool for the children to explore and try to guess why or think why the sand is like this. Why it's wet in the bottom and then we pull it out of the water. It's dry. So, and again, it comes with a nozzle that you can squirt the sand in under that. And to clean it up or to put the sand back in, you're supposed to take the top off the bottle and put the cover upside down so it's kind of like a funnel. And then you would scoop your sand back in. And this would be even fun for the children to do as well. There's a couple different things they can do. Just to sit and play with this for a while and explore. And it's good if you have different colors. They don't seem to mix too much, although if they do mix, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to get them back into their own um, separate colors. I don't think you can. So, but I thought I would do a review of this product and, you know, just share the information with you, what you get and some of the things you can maybe do with it. And you decide if it's something you feel will be useful for your early learning environment, especially in the science or an exploration area. Um, I, I'm glad I purchased it. It's something probably that I wouldn't purchase again. I just, you know, I think it does have some limits to um, the fun factor and stuff that you can do with it because there is not a large amount of sand that comes with it. You'd have to buy quite a lot and um, that can get expensive. But it's, you know, it's definitely for something for the children to explore and there is the uniqueness of the sand coming out dry after it's in the water. For AquaSand, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.